This is amazing. Imagine you are a business owner and you have thousand reviews about your food product. Now you need to understand what people are thinking about the quality of your food. To analyze that, we are going to create a RAG application using Mixtral 87B model, Olama, Llama Index, and Chroma DB. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about creating a RAG application to analyze reviews. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this using Mixtral 87B model. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. So for this purpose, I'm using NVIDIA RTX 6000 as a graphic card. I'm using 42 virtual CPU with 335 GB of RAM. So the first step, we are going to install Olama using this command because I'm using Linux and then click enter. This will automatically download Olama for you. Next, you need to run this command, Olama serve. This will automatically start the Olama server. Keep this terminal running and open a new terminal. In the new terminal, run Olama run Mixtral and then click enter. This will automatically download the Mixtral model required to run the application. Once that is ready, you will see a message prompt like this. Here you can ask question, give me a meal plan for today, just for our test. And you can see it is generating the results. Now we are going to code. These are the required packages to run our application. So I'm installing Llama Index, Torch, Transformers, and Chroma DB. I've already covered beginner's guide for Llama Index, which I will link that in the description below. Now I'm going to click enter. This will install the required packages. Next, I'm going to create a file called app.py and then open it. Inside the file, first I'm going to import modules such as Olama, Path, Chroma DV, Vector Store Index, Service Context, Download Loader, Storage Context, and finally Chroma Vector Store. Next, we are going to load the CSV, which contains a list of reviews to analyze. I have already downloaded the CSV file in my folder, which looks like this. I downloaded that from this location. Now we need to load that CSV file using simple CSV reader and encoding is UTF-8 and we are providing the path where the fine food reviews are located. Next, we are going to create Chroma DB client and store the data. Chroma DB is nothing but a database where you can store the embeddings. Embeddings are nothing but numbers which represents every single word from your ingested reviews. Next, we are going to create a collection called reviews. That's where we are going to store all the reviews in embeddings format. Next, we are defining the vector store and then storage context. These are just the initial configuration where you are mentioning where you want to store the data, what you want to call your collection name as, and you are initiating your Chroma DB. Next, we are going to initiate our Olama Mixtral. LLM equals Olama and the model name is Mixtral. Then you are providing the service context mentioning the large language model. Next, we're going to create vector store index and query engine. This is where you're going to index all your documents, which you have loaded in the first step from the reviews file. And we are assigning our large language model using service context. And we are setting up the Chroma DB using storage context, which we have created earlier in this line. So this line combines all the three configuration, which we have defined earlier. Now we are defining the query engine and finally we are going to perform the query and then print the response. So here we are going to ask what are the thoughts on food quality? So the large language model Mixtral is going to analyze all the reviews and give us the feedback. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now this will start indexing your data, storing the data in the location provided and finally process our request of analyzing those reviews. Now here is the response. The text suggests that people have different opinions on food quality, often based on the personal experiences and expectations. And it gives us more information into details of that. This is really nice that you can use a large language model like Mixtral to analyze your reviews and give us a short description so that you can understand what the people are thinking about your food. Now our data got stored in the Chroma DB folder. You can see that in the same folder 
where you have run the code. Now you can load this database into your Python application and then query as much as time you want. Now we are going to create a file called index.py and then open it. As before, we are going to import modules. Next, creating the Chroma DB client and accessing the existing data store. Here you're mentioning where the data got stored. Next, you're mentioning the collection name and you're saying get collection rather than creating a collection because it's already exists. Next, we are defining the vector store. And now we are initializing the mixtral model and then service context as before. Next, we are going to create the vector store index and the query engine. So in the vector store index, we mention the vector store, which we have initialized in the line number 10. That's where you're retrieving the data stored in this location. Finally, you're going to query and then print the response. So same question we are going to ask, what are the thoughts on food quality? Now I'm going to run this code, python index.py and then click enter. And here we got the answer. The text suggests a range of opinions on food quality. Some people place value of organic, natural or less processed foods, while others focus on taste and satisfaction. And it gives more details. This is amazing. I'm really excited about this, integrating an open source large language model in your application. So these are the things which we did today. Indexing the data, saving the index in a location that we did through app.py file. And in the index.file, we loaded back the saved index and then queried the loaded index. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.